Liu Yang, thank you very much for joining us on CCTV News. While meeting with the PLA delegation to the NPC, President Xi Jinping said innovation is the core competitiveness of the military. And you are China's first female astronaut. Could you please tell us your personal experiences and uh, understanding on innovation? President Xi Jinping said innovation is key to China's military development, urging the armed forces to turn cutting-edge technology into real combat capacity. I think we should have the courage to innovate. We should have a scientific and open mind to innovate. Take our tasks for example. We have achieved many breakthroughs and innovations. We realized China's first human spaceflight mission in the Shenzhou 5 program. We achieved the technological breakthrough of carrying more astronauts to stay more days in space during the Shenzhou 6 mission. Then we achieved China's first spacewalk in the Shenzhou 7 mission. All of these are innovations. You are also an NPC deputy, and we've noticed that during this year's session, you have very focused on advancing and enhancing the soldiers' military honor and social identity. Why are you concerned about this issue? Now we are carrying out the reform of military and defense, and China will reduce the number of troops by 300,000. In that case, there are a considerable number of people, at least quite a few of my friends, have to take off their uniform. So I hope society will pay more attention to these demobilized soldiers and implement a resettlement policy. Later this year, the Shenzhou 11 manned spacecraft will dock with Tiangong 2 Space Lab. What do you think are the difficulties and highlights of this year's space mission? We know that later this year, our country will launch a space laboratory called Tiangong 2 and the Shenzhou 11 manned spacecraft. A big highlight is that Tiangong 2 is indeed truly a space lab. And another highlight is the Shenzhou 11 will carry two astronauts in space for 30 days, compared to 15 days last time. It's a big breakthrough and great leap forward. The increase from 15 days to 30 days is not just numbers, but a great improvement of technical support such as environmental control and life support technology. We need to create an environment in the space that is similar to that on the Earth. That's a big technological breakthrough. This year's manned space mission will be done by two male astronauts. Will you continue training? And is there any possibility of another space mission for you? I think in the future, multiple journeys into the space will be common, so every astronaut must maintain daily exercise and learning. We have a lot of training to make ourselves able to adapt to the environment in space, such as training on the operation of the spacecraft, as well as training on how to conduct scientific experiments. We all know that on the Shenzhou 9 mission, we achieved the first manned rendezvous and docking technology. In order to achieve that, we carried out thousands of manual docking practice sessions on the ground to ensure the success of the real mission.